So a lot of people get scared when it comes to cake baking. There's a lot of ingredients, there's a lot of steps, but this one is my favorite cake and it's also easy to bake. So please welcome the Schwarzwald der Kirschtorte. Also known in Italy as Foresta Nera. I love you. It's not like you just put everything in a pan and you're done. But for the most part of it, it is really easy. So I don't want to hear anybody saying, Oh Jack, there's so many ingredients, there's so many steps. Uh, no, 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 no. Most of you have these ingredients directly at home. Everyone has a black cherry jar in their fridge. So come on, let's do this. Start with cutting 140 grams of dark chocolate in small pieces. Transfer them into a pan with 2 tablespoons of milk. Yeah, I just had a coffee spoon so I had to do it my way, you know. Put some boiling water in another pan and let our chocolate melt in a water bath on top of it. Whisk the chocolate till it's completely melt. Add 75 grams of butter to it. Continue mixing nice and smooth and make the mixture creamy. Put it cooling down for a while. Now unlock the cake pan. I will use a big one with 26 cm of diameter, but also a 24 cm is good. Put a piece of baking paper on the bottom and lock it. Take a piece of butter, grease walls and bottom and we are ready to go. Take two medium sized balls and start to separate the egg yolk from the whites. Pay attention not to break the yolk since if some of it ends in the whites they will never stick. Exactly, like this. Second attempt, this time I won't fail. Take six room temperature eggs and separate the yolk from the whites. Using a hand blender whip the eggs whites until stiff. I, what the heck is going on bro? So, uh, using a hand blender, whip the X whites until stiff. When they are most solid, put a pinch of salt. With a knife, cut them in half and if you are able to separate one side to the other, they are ready. Now beat the yolks on high speed with 180 grams of white sugar, until it's light and beautiful. Then, while continuously beating, slowly add the chocolate and butter mix. Look at that! How beautiful! Now sift out 100 grams of flour, 50 grams of maizena and 16 grams of baking powder. Mix it until uniformly combined. Add gently to our X mixture the flour compound and when it becomes too hard to mix it, add a big spoon of egg whites and put the remaining flour. Fold this mixture together with the egg whites until you get a nice homogenized light brown. Remember from the bottom to the top, nice and slow. Fill our cake pan that has been prepared as described previously and you're just gonna pop that into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius from 30 to 35 minutes until the inserted toothpick comes out clean. Let the cake cool down inside the cake pan for about 10 minutes. It's time to whisk the heavy cream. I prefer to whisk only a half a liter per time, so get two medium sized balls, add to each one 500 milliliters of heavy cream and with a hand blender keep beating and beating. When it's almost done, add two to four tablespoons of powdered sugar and beat until you get a fluffy whipped cream. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. Unlock the cake pan and draw a tiny point on your cake with some flour. It will help assembling later. Cut in three even layers the cake. Let's start with the bottom. Spread the black cherry juice mixed with some water 50-50 on your cake. Then put in the center some cream and spread it out evenly. Put some half slide cherries and add your next layer on top, paying attention to the point. Mm. 
Repeat the procedure again with this layer, juice first, spread the cream and the cherries on top and put the last layer upside down. One more time, put some juice on the cake and then spread the cream all over the sides and on the edges. Remember to put some aside for the decorations. To be honest with you, I'm not the best cream spreader, so that's what I have achieved. But we are not finished yet. Freshly grate some nice milk chocolate on top and all over the sides. With a pastry bag, make those little decorations on top and put a chair in it. Ah right, the one in the middle. And now we are good to go. Our perfectly baked Foresta Nera is ready.